Yeah. Hello, guys. Today I'm interviewing Jack Bateson, the WBA Intercontinental Champion, and he is 17 and 0 with four wins by knockout, and he is back out in um the the 11th of November. Um, so a month tomorrow. That's correct. Yeah. Um, you'll be defending your. WBA Intercontinental title and British Eliminator against um Shabazz Masood who is who is also undefeated um with ten wins. That's right. Yeah, no, I'm looking really looking forward to it. Um, it's a great card, a great fight for myself, and I'm looking forward to putting myself in position to fight for the British. Hundred percent. Yeah. Well, can we talk? Well, we'll talk about your upcoming fight in a minute, but first, um, I want to talk to you about um your fight with Matt Craddock, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Craddock, yes. So that that was a six rounder, wasn't it? Yeah. And and you even though he was two and oh and you were like, I don't know, you, I think you were twelve and oh, eleven and oh. Yeah, something something like that. And but he was undefeated prospect, really. Yeah. And um, yeah. Did did you expect it to be? Well, how how did you expect the fight to go? Well, to be honest, it it was throughout lockdown when the actual fight was. So it was behind closed doors, um, a show with no crowd, um, and it I really struggled to find any opponents that would um that were in training that could take a fight. So Matt Craddock jumped up. And he said, "I'll fight you." Um, he was two and zero. He was a bit. I didn't really know what to expect, you know. I'd, I'd never seen no footage or nothing. And um, he came and he gave it a good go. But I, just, I was just too experienced. Um, I nearly got him out of there in the last round. But it was great to get the round in throughout such a such a bad time for the country. Yeah. Do you think I thought you won every round? Yeah, no, for sure. I did. I won every round, um, and I put him down twice in the last round. So if I'd have had a couple more rounds, I'd probably got him out of there. Yeah, if it was ten rounds, you would have maybe. Um, if it was eight rounds, I think you could have stopped him as well. But yeah, if the, if if I'd have jumped on the gas a little bit sooner, maybe I could have done it in the six. But fair you know, play it was for great. him for taking the fight though, which is good. Yeah, it was. It was really good of him. Like you say, he was inexperienced, but um. Fair play, he jumped in and uh, he gave it a go. Yeah, and at the minute he's six wins, one defeat, so you're oh, the only man that. who's beaten so far. Yeah, that's good to hear. <laughs> yeah. What's that photo behind you? I've got this one here in my... This was my second fight at the first direct arena where I, I boxed a guy from Poland. Can you see it a bit better? Yeah. A guy from Poland, and I stopped him in the second. Well, I knocked him out in the second round, and then this one here is a Leeds United mishmash photo which someone created. It's got all the players and stuff, and then I don't know if you can. Let me see if I can change the camera, but I'm just. I don't know if you can. You see me? Oh, there you are. There you go. What, I see you've what? got a. I see you've got a Manchester United top on, so I won't talk to you too much about Leeds. <laughs> yeah, right. What's <laughs> the, is that the English title behind you? So, oh. yes, that's the English title. So that's my WBA Intercontinental. That's yeah. me when I won. And then that's the English title I won, which was November time last year. Did you beat Mahmood for that, was it? I beat a guy called Ramaz Mahmood. That's um, it, yeah. Yeah, and I watched I'm fighting... that fight, mate. Yeah, no, it was a, it was a good fight, a good scrap, um, a good guy is Mahmood and actually the guy I'm fighting next is he trains out at the same gym. Oh. So are you expecting a similar style or are you not expecting anything the same? Cause you know, he might come with a complete different game plan than Mahmood did. Yeah, definitely, mate. I'm I'm expecting just you know whatever whatever I whatever he brings, I, I can uh, I can deal with. So yeah, I guess I've just got to wait and see. Wasn't the Mahmood fight in Leeds? Yes, it was. 
you were top of the bill. That's correct. And it was, I forgot who, it was streamed somewhere, but it was streamed yeah. and I watched it. and It was on AFL TV, I think. Yeah, so I just thought I, w- I want to tune into this boxing because it, it's just boxing. So I just wanted to switch on and I saw you, mate, and I thought you, you, you were class. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you, Sam. When it went to the city, out of the 10 rounds, how many rounds do you think that you won? In the English title fight? Yeah, against Mahmood. Mahmood. Um, I'd say nine nine or 10, to be honest. I mean, I think one of one of the judges had a, a, a shutout um, with, where I won every round and the other two had me winning eight and nine. Round so yeah, it was. I think it was close to that. Really, I, I almost won every round, but possibly. Yeah, I had eight eight rounds to you two to Mahmood. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, do you think Mahmood would is would fight for the English? Do you think he's good enough to fight for the English again? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think he'll definitely get his shot again. Um, and I hope he he eventually, you know, he, he wins the title and goes a lot further. He was a, he was a really nice guy. Yeah. So, did you speak to him after your fight? Yes, I did. In the build up, was there any beef, like bad blood? No, there wasn't. To be honest, I think we're both uh, we're quite Humble. respectful. Yeah, we were quite respectful of each other and just uh, treat it, treat it as just boxing, just business. Do your talking in the ring with your fists. Yeah, exactly, mate. It's just a sport at the end of the day. Yeah. What about um the Joe Ham fight? Because that I I thought that would be over ten rounds, but it was only eight. Another another yeah. good name to have on your record because he apparently he's gonna fight that Dennis McCann soon. But that's a yeah. good. That's a great name to get on your record. It is, yeah. Joanne was a, a good fight. That was it again was just coming out a lockdown. Um so again there was no crowds. Um but we both jumped up and we said, Listen, we want to fight and um it was it was a good he's a good lad is Joe and like you say, he's fighting Dennis McCann for the Commonwealth title. So oh, that's, that's a big fight then. Big fight, yeah. So both I wish, of them. Exactly. I wish the Commonwealth title was on the line when I fought him and beat him. <laughs> But sure, mate, uh, you're yeah. you're gonna be fighting for that British if if you get past this. I know you're not overlooking him, but if you um win this, you'll be fighting for the British, which is bigger than the Commonwealth. Yeah, no, I agree, mate. I think um so like focus on on Shabazz and then um, beat him, and the British will yeah. nine for sure. Have you watched him fight before? Yes, he's a good fighter. Um, he's undefeated, so he's yet to be beat. But I plan to obviously change that on the uh, on the earth. Get back. his eye away, because we're exactly keep, you're keeping your eye, mate. Yeah, for sure. You know that, mate. A hundred percent sure, mate. Thank you. Will you be the like the the co-main on as like Sonny Edwards is defending his world title? Yeah, that's correct. Sonny Edwards is the main event, um, depending on his world title, and then I'll be the, the co-main event. Thomas Asum- There's Thomas Asumba as well, who's in a British eliminator, but I think you would be on after him because you're, you're defending your title you have currently. Yeah, that's correct. Thomas Asumba fights Marcel Braithwaite. Um, that would be a good fight, though. That's a very good fight, and that's that's. I think that might also be a British eliminator, and I think that's the fight yeah. before. Yeah, yeah. The fact that that'll be on just before me. That probably. Who do you do you know them personally, or do you not know them? I've met them both. Um, they're both they're both very nice lads, and um, I think it's a great fight on paper. Um, I think it's it'll be great to watch, and it's a real. A real, uh, a real good matchup. It is, it is a good matchup, and may the best man win. Exactly that. Yeah. What about your fight last year? On it was on the Josh. I think it was on the Josh Warrington against Lara Bill. Yep. And you fought Felix Garcia. 
Yes. I thought, mate, no offence, I thought it, you made it harder than you needed to make it. Yeah, I agree, mate. I think I think I did on the night. Um, so there's no offense taken at all, but it was a it was a good fight. It's a good learning fight for me. But I think it was a fight that I won comfortably, despite the the ref ruling me ruling me as a knockdown when it, in my opinion, wasn't a knockdown. To be honest with you. So you weren't like her. No, I wasn't her at all. I was off balance. Um, and I thought the ref would have seen that, but. You know, um what it is, mate, and you you bit down on bit down on yeah. your gum shield and you continued right to the final bow and you got the win, which fifty eight that... fifty six I thought was fair. I thought you did enough to win, even though that knockdown was allowed. I thought you still did enough to do it. Exactly, mate. So thank you very much. Do you still like sell tickets? Yes, I do. Did you sell tickets for that? The Garcia fight. Yeah, I, I, that's one of the main the main jobs of being a professional boxer. Obviously, you've yeah. got to you've got to worry about the fight, but you've also got to worry about selling a, a load of tickets. So it, it can be quite stressful at times. But is um, are you good with the tickets? Do you get them sold good? Yeah, I do. I'm, I'm quite lucky that I'm from a, a city like Leeds, where as you know, the the city gets behind uh, the run um, when- and. Oh, sorry, yeah. continue. No, it's fine. Yeah, I've just got to got oh. to get out eight people and sell loads of tickets. When when you were on like the la when you're on the bigger bills and that like your title fights, would you like sell more tickets? So when you fought that Garcia, would do you think you sold like one of the most as it was on like a big bill and Yeah, it, it definitely helps. So are you not so are you not signed with Matchroom Boxing? I'm not. I'm signed with Probellum. But you you have fought on quite a few of Eddie's shows, which is good. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, it gets I, your I'm... name out there, and I think you've got a bigger fan base as you. Yeah, I agree, mate. I've fought on a few of his shows. I've fought on a few of Frank Warren shows. Um, great opportunities for me, and um, it's good to get my name out there, like you said. Yeah. After Mahmood, you fought Stefan Nicolo, who who's normally a durable opponent, but you managed to get him out there in the third. Was that a fight just to like stay active, stay busy? Yeah, it was. I, I'd had a bit of a bit of time off after the Mahmood fight because my partner uh, and I had our had our first child, um, who was a, a little girl called Sienna. So I had a bit of time off to spend some time with her, and then. Got back in the ring. I did a six rounder, and then I, I managed to uh, pick up the win there and and move on to a uh, bigger fight. Yeah, against that Diego Alberto Ruiz. Yes, yes. Tough fella, isn't he? Good fighter. Yeah, very good. Very good fighter. He's a tough man. Um, but another fight which I thought I won quite comfortably. Yeah. Have you watched this? The guy you're fighting fight before. I have. He actually he actually beat Diego Ruiz also. Oh, did he? Mm, he did. That's a common name that you've both got on your records. Yeah, yeah. We we we've both beat him. We both beat him well. Um so I guess it's all about did seeing he, who, who did he stop him or did it go the full distance? It went the distance. Um yeah. it went all T- what, ten rounds? Ten rounds, yes. Yeah. Oh, so he has Fought in ten, uh, quite what about? I think he's fought in a, a few ten rounders, but I think you fought in a few more. Yeah, that's after correct. this fight, would you be looking? Oh yeah, you said you'd be looking for a British, so that would be twelve rounds if you get through this fight. This one, um, this one I'm in next is a twelve rounder. Also, because it's an eliminator, we've got to do the twelve rounds. Is this your first twelve rounder? Yes, it is. Both of us. Oh, that's good, mate. The... Yeah, it is. So, good. are you excited? Is it your first trial rounder and it's longer, or do you yeah, not care the... how many rounds there is? Um, I I prefer the longer round, the longer fights because I feel like the the longer the fight goes, the better I get. Um, quite, I'm always very fit, so um, I look forward to the longer fights. Yeah, if you if um. <laughs> You see an opener. Will you go for the finish against 
forgot yeah for sure yeah I'll, I'll you don't get paid for overtime so if i can get him out there in 10 seconds i'll happily do so <laughs> yeah that'd be nice wouldn't it mate it, Quick early it, would, night. Be, it would be a nice early night <laughs> yeah are you starting to sell your tickets as i see that you've got your like tickets in yeah that's correct how um are you doing well with the tickets so far or yeah, I do well I've got a good team from uh from Leeds coming up to um to support me. Yeah. How is I don't what well, Leeds isn't far from Sheffield, is it? No, it's about fifty minutes. Oh so not that no, it's not that long, is it, mate? No, it's not that bad at all. Have you been like training today at all or not today? Yes, I've trained twice today. What, what, like pad sparring this or? Morning, I went running, um, did 10 kilometers, and then this afternoon, I did pads, bag work, um, bit of boxing, shadow work, and stuff. Um, just a bit of a bit of all sorts, really, in the gym. And then tomorrow, I'm sparring, so it's uh, who are you sparring? I'm sparring someone from Manchester, I think they're bringing a few guys over, so I'll have to wait and see. Oh, that'll be good, mate. It will. How many rounds do you spar, or is it depending on the other person? Yeah, it varies. It, it can. I, I like to do a a few ten, twelve rounders, just because obviously that's what I'm, what I'm gonna be fighting in. So sometimes yeah. it's, it's six, eight, ten, twelve, just depending on what my coaches say. Do you ever? Would do you ever stop anyone like in sparring? Would you ever like stop the fight? Yeah. Someone could maybe pull the fighter out and say, oh, listen, he's, he's had enough, you know, after a few rounds, just because he's tired or he's, he's not doing so well. But um, Not really. You wouldn't, no, like, it, try to stop it. No, at the end of the day, sparring's quite, quite, um, it's more practice, you know what I mean? You, you, it's a bit more friendly. Yeah, so you let, so it's not like in a pro fight where you won't let them, like, hit you as yeah. much and... If, if 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 you did hurt your 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 sparring partner, you'd you'd pull back and and let him recover because obviously it's 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 not a competition, I, I guess. Yeah. So that would be good sparring tomorrow. Did you have an amateur background, or did I always did I ask you that question already? Oh yeah, I had an amateur background. I had a hundred and twenty odd amateur fights actually. Wow. Hmm. Quite a lot. How many did you win? I won um just over just over a hundred, so I lost eighteen. So yeah, uh, I had a hundred and twenty something. So yeah, I lost eighteen. Well, that's still um, a good record, though, mate. Yeah, good. I fought internationally as well, all over the world. So did you was... like win anything? Like I don't know. Like, did you win anything as an amateur? I won um I won nine national titles, so I won nine England titles. I won three yeah. Great Britain titles and I also won a European bronze medal, a Commonwealth gold medal. Um and then I went to like loads of different tournaments, you know, for Team G B. I won them as well. So yeah. yeah. So you're quite experienced. Yeah, yeah. Very, should I say. Yeah. Yeah. Very, that's good. That's good. And um, my last question, Jack, do you have any advice for someone who wants to be a boxer? Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, one thing for anyone to think about that's getting into boxing is it's it's not a it's not a part time thing. Yeah, you can maybe start part time, but you've got to be willing to give your all to it. Um, obviously it can be a dangerous sport at times so you've got to be fully committed can't cut any corners um, and if you stay consistent then hard work always pays off um, there's times where you might not want to train but you've got to make sure you do train so that when you do get get in the ring you know that you, you've left no stone unturned and that you're, um, you've put more work in than your opponent but yeah it's, it's an amazing sport and I I recommend to anybody to get involved in it because it's 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 done wonders for me. Yeah. And and still WBA Intercontinental, mate, yeah? You know that champ. 
you've got this, mate. Keep working hard, yeah? Thank you very much. Great to chat with you. Thank you, mate. Bye.